All right, I'm just going to put um, a little marker down <clears throat> so you can kind of see where there is going to be a combat. Uh, the reason why I'm doing a combat now, and I haven't even done any movement or whatever, it just seemed to uh, fit with the narrative. Um, reason being is, quite frankly, that I'm uh, pretending that, uh, well, all the army commanders, the word has gone out, they know what's happening. I mean, obviously, some are going to be pretty darn happy and some are not. Um, and Brusilov has just found out that um, no reinforcements, no ammunition, nothing is coming. Um, so, I was starting last night and very early this morning. Shoot, I shouldn't have drank so much coffee. I think it was like three cups now. Oh, well. Um, that... I was starting to figure out, okay, like, okay, no supply, nothing, and I was like, also with this army HQ, he's useless now. That it's weird to think that um, uh, I can now remove this entire army HQ, and these guys can uh, effectively fight the same way they would be fighting if there was an army HQ around, because there's no longer, um, they're no longer, uh, there's no supply, so they're pointless as far as I know. It's weird. Um, but they do help these guys out in a minute, and you'll see why. Um, anyways, I was, like, trying to figure that out. I don't know what happened. There was obviously some other little spot in my brain that just, and quite literally, quite literally just said, uh, grow some balls, Chris, for Christ's sakes, and, uh, try to help these guys out. So, uh, that's what we're gonna do. Um, so I'm pretending that, yeah, the word has gone out. Um... Brusilov knows no one's going to come help and got to do something about all this. I mean, that's 15 strength points of uh, isolated troops sitting there just about to get obliterated. So they're going to try to make a breakout attempt through to here, across the river, obviously. Uh, across, um, I mean, where else can they go, for crying out loud? And um, just makes it. It's just that part of the, well, that was why they were able to hop across. It's a minor river. Well, I'll show you in a minute. And it's interesting that that's the spot the Austrians went for, uh, you know, to isolate these guys, as well as it was a good terrain spot because there's it's only broken terrain. So it's, I guess, a, a position that could, you know, uh, go back and forth. But, um, yeah, and you'll see the Austrian, well, I'll just get rid of it. Um, the Austrians did a good job by putting the German, a German brigade there, the 23rd Landwehr Brigade there, um, to stiffen up the retreat bonus so now it's one half rather than one third anyways so I'll go over the rules bits again with the breakout attempt so these guys are gonna try to break out across over here with the support of these two dudes um, everything is gonna be unsupplied so I'll go over the stuff but before we do that uh, what I want to do is um, oh actually you know well no I'll stay um, zoomed out for a minute because I want to do the probability die I wanted to, um, since I'm going to use the um, the sock doubler, uh, I, I was calling it the sock double down, but it was driving me nuts because it just reminded me of that KFC sandwich, and I was like, screw this, I can't handle that, it's going to drive me up the tree. So the uh, the sock doubler, or I don't know what, we'll have to figure out something, but uh, something's got it. I mean, it's a super risky, ridiculous thing, i got to figure out something for it, but sock, cube, the dice uh, doubler something I don't know if anybody comes up with something interesting let me know for crying out loud uh, but just get away from KFC and all that stuff um, anyways what the hell so I want to use the sock but I want to do it kind of similar the way I would do it with miniatures uh, when I play my miniatures uh, game so what I'm gonna do is okay so normally you would get the thought well not well, it's almost the same as mine, but, uh, so one, two, three, four, there's your five, because in my miniatures, you wouldn't have six, you always get a free move, then after that, you would, eh, it doesn't matter. Um, so here you go, that's normal for my version of the new thing here. So you get five green cubes and a red, but the way I would do it for miniatures is I would roll a die. No, uh, normally it's a, I would go one to two, three to four, five to six, so it'd be one to two, uh, the gods don't favor you, three to four, they're, they're not even paying attention, five or six, they do favor you. So it'd be, if it was five or six, you'd get an extra green cube, 
if they don't favor you you get an extra red one and trust me those it really skews like you're holy moly and if they don't couldn't care less um, you, you just go with what you got so um, that's what I'm gonna do but I wanted to use the probability die but to do the probability die, I usually would go upstairs and use the hallway. But if I did that, I would have to start doing this crazy video thing. Uh, I don't want to do that. So I had to come up with some kind of dice cup for the probability die. And I'm going to just use a rolled up uh, one of the, the smaller maps for Dervelt Creek. And it seemed to work. I, I tried a few times and I did seem to get randomish results. As in I didn't keep getting the same guy so we're going to use this and the way we go I don't even know if this is oh it is showing up goody okay so I'm just going to jiggle wiggle and uh, so I'm going to do it I don't want to go crazy business uh, or should I go crazy business yeah what the hell uh, so if it's one or two the gods do not favor Brusilov today three or <coughs> excuse me three or four um they're not even paying attention, and five or six, um, um, they do favor him. So what did I say? Yeah, one to two, they hate his guts. Three to four, uh, they like him. Five or six, um, ah, they love him. Okay, here we go. Jiggle, wiggle, and the jiggle. Okay. Uh huh. I'm gonna do. Oh shoot! Why did I do it that way? I'm gonna hit the camera. Okay, here we go. And what, what are you? Holy smokes! Sorry. Six. Okay. Done. So, he gets an extra green cube. Yeah! Makes it makes life a little like, more interesting for me. Right on. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna pop that extra green cube in the thing. Alrighty. So, we'll go over all the stats. I'll bring it in. I'll zoom it in nicely. And tell you who's under what. Everything and all that stuff. Hold on. I'll bring it in nice. Alrighty, so, there we go, a little bit of context, I think, yeah, I keep forgetting that this thing's amazing, that's not too bad, hopefully, it's probably still ridiculously close, um, so, let me get my uh, sheet out here, so, in BG9 here, that's the isolated group that are attempting to break out through across the Nister through here. And here, they're going to try to break out through uh, the newly acquired position uh, after they uh, drove out the 4th Rifles Brigade or the 5th, I'll have to check, but they annihilated them, obliterated them, and they advanced into that position. Um, here is the 35th. Uh, the Austrian 35th Infantry Division, they're at uh, three strength points, they're maxed out at four, and they are uh, Hungarian, so green. And there's also the 23rd Landwehr, uh, German Landwehr Brigade here, they're at one strength point, and they're normally at 2-4. So there you go. So I'll pop in those three strength points. Hold on. Or four, sorry. So we'll see what's that, and... I'll show you where they're, um, you can see that they're defending across broken, broken terrain. So that'll give uh, the, defend, uh, the attacker minus one to their die roll, but nothing, no modifier for the uh, defender's counterattack. Okay? And the river bonus is gone because I'm going to, uh, the, with the support here of, um, this is the only way to do it, was uh, to use the um, the first Kubistan Cossack division there, um, and since they are now attacking or part of the attack, I'll put put their strength points there. Normally, I don't do it. You know what I mean? So okay, I'll pop them on. So that's a one strength point, and uh, now it's also November. So because it's November, lots of things start happening with cavalry, and one of them is if they cannot trace a line of supply to a friendly map edge or, or uh, railway, uh, 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 yeah, friendly operative railway or a headquarters, that type of stuff. I think it's got to be within eight movement points. They lose one strength point 
her movement point beyond that. So it happens quick. They only have one strength point. So they would be effectively eliminated as a combat unit. They're gone. But the headquarters is right beside them, so they're okay. Even if they're unsupplied and all this, I guess it's a whatever. I'm, I'm going with it. It's okay. I mean, come on, for crying out loud. We're, it's, you know, we, there's hardly any, When you see what happens to this unsupplied breakout guy, uh, this 15 is going to vanish rather, rather quickly. I can tell you that much. So there's not going to be very, you know, it's not going to be a lot of attacking strength points uh, going into this uh, breakout attempt. And that's why we're going to be using the sock and the doubler, uh, the doubling dice. I can tell you that much. So here we go. I'm just going to go over it very quickly again. So we've got the 12th Infantry Division with four SPs. The 48th Infantry Division with four SPs. The 49th Infantry Division with, uh, sorry, uh, it's, uh, yeah, three SPs. And the 15th Infantry Division with four SPs. So they have a total of 15 sitting there. And they're going to get support from the 4th Rifles Brigade, right there. So it must have been the 5th that got wiped out last turn. And then the 1st Kubistan Cossack Division. So all these three guys are going up, as, as we said. Due to Rule 23, 20, uh, 20 whatever, 3, one strength point must be eliminated per division prior to any strength point calculations for the attack and, they're cons uh, and they, those lost strength points ha are considered to have surrendered for demoralization purposes. Obviously not these guys. But here, I have to remove one strength point from the 12th, one from the 48th, one from the 49th, and one from the 15th. So I'm going to do that now, and we're going to remove that 15. Got to do this by the book. It sounds ridiculous to say that by me, but tough. By my book, how's that? All right, so that's 15. I'm going to pop you down there. So that brings you down to 11. Hold on. Yeah, it just seemed right to do the uh, the combat now. This made sense. There we go. You know, I'd like, I'll talk about other stuff later too. It's about... Um, I think it's also, uh, you know, I don't want to get off on a train of thought here. No, I will, and then I, will. I can see, I, I can see it jumping the tracks already. Okay. So, how, however, also according to Rule Twenty Two, unsupplied units making a breakout attempt don't do it at one half strength. They do it at one quarter, and it's rounded to the nearest number. So thus, the combined modified attack on the combined Austro-Hungarian-German troops south of the, of the Dniester, number 85 there, uh, will be um, 11 divided by 4, which equals 2.75, rounded up is a 3. So let's just do this for... For the heck of it, even though later on I'm gonna have to, you know, uh, it doesn't matter. Like, uh, you know, we're just, you can see what I'm going up against, or they're going up against. How's that? And so it's the effective combat strength. So there we go, three. That guy stays a one, because he's, he's good, just stays a one, trust me. And this guy goes to a one. Alrighty. So now we've got five attacking strength points. Oh my crap, eh? Um, going up against these guys right here. So now, we're, let's go take a look at the combat results table and see. Remember, I get minus, uh, the German, uh, Russians are going to get minus one to their die roll due to the fact of the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, due to the fact of the uh, broken train. So now I'm going to start playing with the, the fun stuff here. And remember, the first pull, if you start wanting to double down, or doing the sock and the doubler, is the first one is the sock, which will uh, shift you a column. If you lose, the defender gets that shift in their counterattack. If you want to double down, you use the backgammon die, and as long as you don't get the number that you started with, so it would be a two, um, if that's the case, then... Um, so we know we need two hits 
to nail these buggers. Um, just due to the fact, so right now I'm screwed. We can see that, but I'm screwed. So I've, we've got five strength points with a minus one to the die roll. There's, it's impossible for me to get these guys to retreat and open up a line for those poor buggers. Okay, so we now to, we need to get to holy f man. Like a good chance, to, like to start getting into 50-50 land, I need to get up to 11 strength points. Holy urk. But, remember, the second bit for the doubler is plus one to your die roll. Uh, okay, let's try this. Uh, I, this is a kind of like, uh, I just wish I had meandering Mike's mind uh, for this type of stuff, because I would probably be able to figure out when to stop much quicker, or I should have stopped, or I didn't stop. This could end right away. I mean, obviously, there's like there's a red cube. So here we go. So I'm just trying now to see the Russians are going to risk it and try to see if they can shift the column over. Oh, what's the point? Otherwise, it's, there's a zero percent chance. Come on, no red, man. I've had some really bad luck. Eh? Okay, it's a green. It's a green. So now we're going up to a six. Okay, so we've been shifted over to a six. And if you don't, if you think, well, obviously, you know I have to go for it. Uh, sorry. How was that? Um. Hmm. I don't want to, well, I'll just, I'll just zoom out again. Why do I keep thinking it's this? Hold on. There we go. All right, so now, as long as they don't get a two, they're good. So 32. All right, I just want to write this down because I'm not uh, the swiftest uh, thing on the universe. Okay. So, shift. And plus. Okay, so they're now up to a six. And they got a plus one. Okay. We're going again. We are going again. So. I'm at a six now. Let's see here. So a six with a plus one. So if I got a two. So I need a... Oh, see, it's still a ways away. All right. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't give me a red one. Don't. Yes! Okay, so we're up to seven now. What the hell does that do for me? So I'm on the seven column with a plus one. All right. Seven. Still... Because of the minus one, so I'm at a zero. Uh, I'm at a zero. Seven at a, with a zero, so I still can't do it. I need to get up to a nine with a zero. Okay, so let's try the um, the doubler. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. So as long as I don't get a two or, or a four, we're good. Oh, fuck. son of a bitch. Well. That's the way the universe works, man. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a four. So that means it's a fail for Brusilov. It's going to be an effing nightmare. And I have to figure this all out. <laughs> I don't expect... Oh, shit. Well, well, I'm glad... Like, this is all experiment. I got a need to know, like, maybe one of these days there's going to be this crazy run. Somebody gets to go mental. So that means on the counterattack... So it failed... Whatever heck uh, that micro mini column attack breakout thing, uh, my version of it didn't work. So the counter attack is going to be two shifts, and they'll get plus two to their die roll. Oi. Ooh. Ah. Uh huh. So I'll roll. It's what's well. There's no point, as we know. Five strength points. 
Uh, well, I could do a hit, so I should uh, I should roll for sure. Okay, we'll do that. Hold on. Wow, eh? Oh, brother. Okay. So it's a three. Five strength points on a three. But they still get the minus one to their die roll. Um, that's because it's still broken terrain. Uh, so they uh, zero hits. So the Russians were unable to do the breakout attempt. And now I do the counterattack. And uh, from what I've been reading uh, in a breakout attempt, <clears throat> excuse me, the breakout people always take the hits first kind of thing. However, remember for this thing to, to have worked, I had, uh, the Russians needed to use the cavalry, the first Kubistan Cossack division. And normally in an attack, the cavalry takes the first hits. So uh, they're definitely going to be one of the hits that takes it. Um, it that's for sure. So even if the German, uh, the Austrians just do one hit right now, uh, I'm, uh, the Cossack cavalry, as far as I'm concerned, should be the ones that take it because that was instrumental in getting that um, uh, killing the river bonus, as far as I'm concerned. And it doesn't matter. The rest of these guys are toast uh, with a capital T. All right, so here we go. Uh, so that means um, the... Germans have four strength points. Um, unsupplied gets dropped down to two. They're not retreating, so it's tripled. So that's six uh, um, counterattacking strength points, but they have two shifts to the right uh, uh, over, so it's now eight strength points. Um, with the plus two di uh, modifier. So here we go. I think I did, I've done this all right. I'm pretty darn sure I have. What a disaster. Oh, well, tough bananas. This is the way the universe works and uh, part of the narrative, man. Five. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Laylord Lifton. Oh, <laughs> oh Laylord Lifton is all I gotta say. So here we go. Eight. I don't think I've ever done a seven. Uh, so that's two hits. So I'm going to, let's bring this back into Wonderland for a little bit. Or maybe I can leave it out because I think you guys like the context. And that's yeah, a lot of, a lot of whatever. Um, so that means that the, um, the first Kubistan Cossack division have been eliminated. And one of these strength points has to be removed. Well, remember, it's not a three. Uh, I did the thing. Um, and who would that be? Now, hold on. So the person to take that would be the 12th Infantry Division because they're at full strength. So I'll uh, take them out. But it doesn't really matter in the long run, does it? Uh, because they're going to... Um, <clears throat> Oh, you know what sucks? Uh, it's well, it's just the way the universe works, and you can't do it in this in this game. But boy, I would love to be able to have the defenders advance after combat. Oh, oh, not in this game, but I love that. Uh, I love that feel of it. Um, I mean, maybe not this guy because he didn't, you know. But boy, <laughs> it'd be so nice. Well, they get the, they get the turn next, so. Uh, so that's it. I'm gonna stop it here, and then I'm gonna go and talk about um. Some side stuff about uh, the game, I guess, is uh, whatever. But I just wanted to do this combat thing. So, or I'll bring it out a bit. There we go. So, um, or maybe should I talk about it now? Yeah, let's do it. Um, I'll bring it out a bit so I'll get it all worth and not uh, do whatever's. Um, so, yeah, the way I'm looking, it just dawned on me. There's no way that the Russians, even with all this mounting of uh, supply points and starting to bring uh, ammunition towards this area, um, the Central Powers are going to know what they're up to, uh, just due to the fact that um, 
The Army HQs, maybe this one's going to be in position to mount an attack. I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look. But they can't move if they receive uh, supply points, like any transfer of supply points uh, a tour from a, a head, an Army headquarters, so, um, or even a core HQ. So, um, that's the thing. Like, these guys and the, uh, the Central Powers get to move right after this. So they're going to know, uh, holy smokes, the Russians seem to be completely committed to this spot. Uh, so what does that mean? You know, I, I know I'm not supposed to be thinking about it from the Central Powers point of view, but what does that mean when they've already put, you know, their things in play and it's like, are they like j clicking their heels or not? I don't know. It'll be neat to see. But uh, so that's that. I just had to remind myself that, ooh, that's not going to be such a good thing for the Russians that they had to sh show their hand. But what do you, sp you know, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I knocked something over here. Oh, must have been the dice tower. Um, anything else I wanted to chit chat about? Oh yeah, I think it's also about the um, um, uh, I gotta go on the other side. I'm not a big fan on the, that side. Um, I'll just bring the camera over. I hope you don't mind. <clears throat> Here, and I'll even bring it out a bit. Hold on. Um, come on, you. Uh, I'll, oh, it was nice to have Rob over yesterday, and I'll show you something that he brought me over very quickly. I'll do a pseudo-unboxing later, but it's uh, he picked this up for me, the beautiful man. Soldiers of the Great War, and he even has like a specified guns bit for it. It's like, I guess, a Lego clone or something, but uh, I started opening it up, and I said, wait a minute, maybe I should stop and do a, like a little rinky-dink thing of it. He even has barbed wire, for Christ's sakes. Um... Yeah, so the remainder of the day, I think I want to do, oh, it started clouding over, but I started doing a little bit of the Quincy, at least piling some of the snow. I don't want to start doing that. I don't have, I didn't pop it in a great position uh, due to the fact that uh, I didn't want to bother one of the rabbits that keeps coming in my backyard, but I'll have to, um, he'll have to make do or she'll have to make do because that's just the way it goes. I, I need to move the, uh, the location a little bit. Um, otherwise, I'm not going to have a great time trying to dig it. Uh, what else? Oh, no, yeah, the main thing is about my live stream, and, and that's what I want to start working on a bit more. I guess for my playthrough videos, except for like if I say, okay, I'm going to do a proper caporetto, or we're going to read uh, up on the grand campaign type of stuff. Um, this to me, uh, like I don't, uh, and I've made a bazillion mistakes and acted like a goof, or you know, just done myself. I, like in other words, what I'm saying is, um, I'm give myself a lot more room for error in doing these uh, videos, my, my, you know, stuff. But um, when it comes for to, to my Saturday morning live stream thing that I, I, I like to do, I, wa I, I want to take that, I want to be very serious about that. I want to step up my game. I want to, you know, when I see other people doing similar things, um, I'm like, I want to be at that level at least. And, uh, I'm not, um, you know, things like the chipmunk voice and uh, not preparing things. Like, in other words, I want to step it up properly. Um, and I think I've also mentioned, uh, well, I did in the live stream. Um, uh, I, I knew this was going to happen anyways when I first started was uh, I, I don't want it. It's going to eventually morph to just primarily uh, World War I, uh, talking about World War I and, you know, game-related stuff. But... I want it to be for me a resource, and for you know, hopefully for other people. I want to interact, talking about that stuff, and you know, bringing up topics and like, okay, this, that, or the other thing, and so on and so forth. So that's what I'm aiming for for my Saturday uh, live streams. I want to take that up to like I want somebody if they pop on, go, okay, this isn't a effing shit show compared to you know this. I you know, I'm like whatever. If you think this is a shit, sh go for it. I don't, you know, I'm, this is for me, um, you know what I mean by that, uh, uh, I hope, I mean, it's, you know, uh, it's, uh, you get the idea, I hope, again, all right, I think that's about it, uh, yeah, and I'm going to go and hopefully work a bit more on the Quincy uh, type of stuff, um, okay, I think uh, this is neat to see, so these guys are, the Brusilov tried his best, and now it's like, I think, go slink off back to Russia or something, because you screwed the pooch. Uh, and I can tell you one thing, I, um, yeah, in my universe, obviously, obviously there's not going to be a Brusilov offensive 
um, you know, he's a minor star. Um, maybe now this will really push him off into Bolshevik land. You know, maybe he really will become a super red dude later on because uh, he's got this, Arr! look what happened to me. They fired me and all this, not, you know, crazy nonsense. Who knows? <laughs> okay. Hope you're having a great Sunday. Bye.